Hey guys, this video will just give you a quick rundown of the homemade battery box that I made. Uh, it runs our 65 litre Waco and a couple of camp lights and whatnot uh, when we're out camping. I'll start with the solar panel. Uh, so we use a 180 watt max ray solar panel off eBay uh, to run it and it will run it pretty much indefinitely if you've got sunlight. The very first thing that I did when we got this panel was actually take the regulator off. Uh, the regulators are pretty dodgy but the panels aren't too bad. You get what, I, get what you pay for I guess. So all I did was bypass the cables that went in and out of the regulator. So they just hook onto the Anderson plug. Uh, I changed a, the grey Anderson plug to the red Anderson plug. You can actually unclip them by putting a screwdriver in there and just lifting them up, pushing them back through at the same time. So that's pretty easy to do. Uh, just make sure you solder all your connections and make sure they're pretty tight. So the reason I used the red Anderson plug was so that it can only be plugged in to the solar input and not these general input outputs uh, which aren't actually regulated. Uh, so it's boyfriend proof. Uh, the box itself is 12 mil ply with a bit of marine carpet just for looks really. A couple of handles on the side so that we can cut it around and a couple of vents but you won't really need those if you have an AGM battery. So I've got a USB socket at the front here for running phones and iPads that sort of stuff and then just three general cigarette sockets um, they run the fridge camp lights all that sort of stuff and then on the end we have a voltmeter so you can press the button with a button in the relay so you can press that and see how much voltage you've got uh, inside the box uh, I have a 120 amp hour deep cycle AGM battery and as I mentioned earlier you'll get about three days out of this battery uh, running the fridge without the solar but if you've got the solar hooked up it'll run pretty much indefinitely. This is a 20 amp hour DC to DC charger uh, I think it was about 250 bucks on eBay and it was the most expensive part of the battery box build but definitely worth doing I wouldn't trust these solar panels but they were cheap so then it's just a matter of hooking it all up really so I've got 100 amp hour wires here and I think 30 amp hour wires here it's a little bit of overkill but you never know I've got 50 amp circuit breakers protecting the Anderson plug sockets and then a 30 amp circuit breaker to protect all of these sockets uh, so that red plug that we saw on top that the solar panel plugs into feeds into the DC-DC charger and actually charges the battery from there. And I also have the option to add another Anderson plug to plug the vehicle into uh, and it will also charge that. So that was my reason for getting the Thunder unit. A lot of people run the red arcs but value for money we haven't had any issues with the Thunder. It's been fantastic. Uh, you can actually also see on the side of the box we cut a little hole in there and that will actually show you whether your solar panels are charging the battery and um, what stage of charging they're at. So that's really handy also. Uh, in the bottom of the battery box I've just got like an old plastic tub uh, just in case the battery leaks at any stage. Again it shouldn't because it's an AGM battery but you never know. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully that helps someone because when I was trying to make it, I couldn't really find any videos to help me out. So thanks guys, if you like it leave a comment, send me a message, if you want some more details I'll try and include them in the comments below.